Today we're gonna talk about the eight things you might be doing wrong when making freezer meals. Now my sisters and I, we've been making freezer meals for years. We've literally made hundreds between all of us. But when we share these recipes, sometimes we get comments of people not having the same outcome that we are. So I thought I'd share our top eight things that many of you might be doing wrong when making freezer meals. Number one is that you're not using a freezer gallon bag. Now, if you can see on here, right there, ooh, it's little, it says freezer. Also on your box, it will say, freezer. Now my favorite kind of freezer meal bags to buy is Hefty. They are the most sturdy that I have found. Number two, when cooking a freezer meal that's been in a plastic bag, please make sure that you remove the contents from the bag. You would be surprised how many hundreds of comments we get of people cooking their meal in the plastic bag. So please, please, please remove your food from the bag. The three ways I remove the food from the bag is one, I put it in the fridge the night before so that it's all thawed, ready to go. Two, I like to run it under some warm water just to get it off around the edges so it will slide nicely into an instant pot or slow cooker. Or number three, when things are crazy, sometimes I'll throw it in the microwave for about two minutes just to get a little bit of liquid in there so it will slide out nice and easy into your Instant Pot or slow cooker. Number three is people forget to use airtight storage when they're freezing their meals or freezing literally anything. You just wanna make sure that you suck all the air out as much as possible out of your container. That way your food will last longer and it won't get that, you know, that frost, if you know what I'm talking about. Number four, many people leave their food in the freezer longer than they should. Now making these freezer meals, they last anywhere from 30 to 60 days. I feel like three months is really pushing it. I like to use my freezer meals within the first 30 days because I know they're still gonna be fresh and good. One of the things we started doing is putting the date on the freezer meal so that way you will know what date it went in, what day you made it, and how long you have to eat it. Number five, a lot of people forget what freezer meals they actually have in their freezer. If your freezer is like mine, it's always full to the top. It just is what happens. But if you can get a running list of every freezer meal that's in there, and whenever you eat one, go ahead and cross it off, you'll always know what meals you have in your freezer ready to go. Number six is waiting too long to freeze your leftovers. Now, if you make a delicious recipe, say you're making a soup, lots of times the soup, there is a lot of it, and it's okay to take half of it and put it in the freezer, but many times we just put it in the fridge thinking, oh, we'll get to this, we'll eat it, when really, it just goes to waste because we forget to put it in the freezer. So next time you have a huge batch of something and you know you're not gonna eat it all, stick it in the freezer right after you're done cooking it. That will save you a lot of problems and a lot of gross, nasty container cleanup. Number seven, probably one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they forget to label their freezer meals. If you do not label your freezer meal, you might think you will remember what it is when all honesty, lots of the freezer meals look the same. They're all kind of brown. So I highly suggest making sure that you write what your freezer meal is what the cooking time is. I like to do Instant Pot and slow cooker cooking time so I know, depending on the day, which one I can cook it at. And it just makes life just a little bit easier when you label. And like I said before, get a running list of all your freezer meals that are in your freezer. It will make the world of a difference, I promise you. And number eight, this one might sound a little bit silly, but when you're making freezer meals, make sure that you're gonna make freezer meals that your family will actually eat. Because if you don't like one of those freezer meals, it's gonna sit in your freezer, take up a lot of space, and then by the time you get to cleaning out your freezer, which is like once a year for me, it has gone bad. It's not good anymore and you have to check it. So you've spent a lot of time and effort making these freezer meals. Make sure it's something that you guys actually like. Now these last few weeks, my sisters and I, we have come out with all kinds of things to help you guys with your freezer meals. Now the first one is our freezer meal guide. This one is $27. It literally walks you through step by step of how to make the freezer meals. You get a shopping list, you get all the recipes, you get to watch us make the recipes. It just makes life a little easier. Now if you don't need that help and you just need recipe ideas, we also came out with the freezer meal membership. This one is you get 10 freezer meals every month at the first of the month. You get shopping lists. It just gives you some new 
freezer meal ideas. If you want any of those, I'll put the links down below in the description for you. All right, guys, let me know if you love freezer meals, if you use them, if you make them. I'm curious. All right, I'll see you all next time. Bye.